Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on Minecraft. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a clock generator. Now, I know I haven't made a video in a while, sorry guys. It's been around four weeks, it's just that I've been pretty busy with school stuff and you know. So here we go guys, you're going to need 28 pieces of redstone and uh, four blocks of dirt and four torches. Now what you want to do is lay this out, three, four, five, six, seven, seven by seven, three, wait. Three, four, five, six. Ooh, have you heard anything? That was my phone that vibrated. Anyways, um, uh, here we go. So just make a square out of seven. So the seven by seven square, forty-nine uh, meters squared, I believe, because each tile I think represents a meter. I'm not sure. Three, six, seven. All right. So once you've done that, um, memorizing this, uh, memorizing this, uh, how to make a clock is pretty easy. In the corner. Take out one, and there you go. Uh, go over three and then take it out. And from this corner, go three and then go down three and place another block of dirt. And from here, go three and then three. And then for this part, I'm gonna take it out just for this purpose right now. Take out from the corner three, take that out, and then go ahead and place take this the middle one out and place a torch there now this one as you can see is facing towards the left this one make it face to the right then this one will be facing towards the inside of the clock oh, it's getting darker and this one will be facing outward towards the clock now when you lay down the seven remaining pieces this row will be completely empty this row will be completely empty and what you're gonna have is a you're gonna have in total when you see this right now you're gonna have one spot open there one spot open there one spot open there everything else is just wired so one whole row here wired and one whole row here wired and as you can see your clock is totally working and just it looks nice like that oh you can't see the rest as you can see it is working and all good and from there with your remaining pieces of redstone where you want to extend the power is right here in the middle and as you can see it just turns on the circuit on and off and gives you power on on off on off and I know it's kind of big but this is around the biggest size you can get or this is the this kind of clock is probably around uh, as small as you can get it so that the um, the uh, oh I really hope nothing's gonna attack me right now this is pretty much as, as small as you can get it so that your torches don't burn out and it's pretty quick the uh, the the generation it, it keeps on going around in a circle so hey grass just grew on that <laughs> that's the second time I think in a video and now let me show you why this works as you can see here we have a picture of the circuit now that part right there is on and we have a missing piece there uh, it's not complete which will turn that torch up top off and that's why it's off. Now this bottom torch is on because nothing is affecting it. And the torch up in the middle right there is obviously off because it's affected by the on one. And now once I fill in the missing gap, which is right there, pointed by the arrow, I will that torch right there will turn back off, which will then cause, in effect, the top one to turn back on. And the top one that's on will now turn that one off, which will then cause the bottom torch to turn back on again which will then in turn cause that middle piece right there for a split second to turn back on which will then cause the other torches that one to turn back off which will then cause the top one to turn back on for a second uh, I mean off and then you know so then that one turns in the middle one and now there are arrows and pointing everywhere oh come on that's too many arrows oh come on two of them aren't even pointing at torches Anyways, you get the point. Everything is turning on and off each other sequentially and creating this clock. Now back to the video. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Comment, rate, uh, like, and subscribe. If you guys got any questions and suggestions, post them down below. And yeah, thanks for watching.